Hi, I'm D'Angelo Russell. You're watching CampusSports.net. Bosco for CampusSports.net here with another timeout and we are on the campus at USC, the home of the Trojans. Our guest today, Lakers star and rookie sensation, D'Angelo Russell. You're watching Time Out on CampusSports.net. All right, CampusSports.net, I'm Dave Osco. We're here for another timeout with the man D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? You good? Yep, yep. All right, so the Lakers' number one draft pick this season, number two overall, um, fresh off an amazing season at Ohio State. Uh, tell us what it was like playing ball at Ohio State. It was great. Um, everybody knows it as a, as a football school. Yeah. But, I mean, we, we had a good run in the NCAA tournament. We had a lot of success throughout the year. And um, came down to a few players getting drafted, a few players taking the next step. Right. Now, you obviously took the next step. A uh, huge moment in your life being drafted number two. What was draft night like for you? What was that experience like? It was great, man. Um, I wish I could go back to enjoy it and, and um, really cherish every moment. I was kind of, kind of trying to rush through the night to right. get to the, to the next day, trying to get back to LA just so I could visit it, yeah, and, and get situated. But um, it was great, man. Just having your family and your friends there to, to, um, to enjoy that moment, also. Right. Now, what advice do you have for players that kind of go in the wrong direction, social media wise? Because that's been something in the last few years has really come up with athletes and social media. How do you kind of handle dealing with those situations? Um, <clears throat> I mean, I would just use it as use it as an advantage. I mean, I'm I mean, I'm on social media a little bit, but I try mm -hmm. to use it to keep up with what's going on, not as much as trying to be something that everybody's worried about, making a, a foolish comment or right. something like that, or responding to fans, stuff like that. I yeah, mean, I would just say don't don't get carried away and in, in, in getting too big on the the, the hype or whatever. Yeah. If you're a kid that's going through what I went through. So you got to think before you post. Remember that, right? For sure. All right. Now, you have a, a partner in crime this season that I'm excited to see you guys play together is Julius Randle. Um, I asked him earlier if you guys were Batman and Robin, who would be who, and he, w he wouldn't answer that question. Yeah. I mean, I feel like our team, the, the guys that we got on our team, our whole team could be a Batman type of guy. It depends on whose night it is. Mm -hmm. So, um, me coming in being a rookie, I'm just I'm trying to learn from these guys as right. much as possible. And, um Make it, make it as far in the playoffs, make it to the playoffs one, and then make it as far as we can. So. Yeah. Now, any advice that Kobe Bryant gave you specifically that really stuck with you? Um, any one I thing stand out? I talked to him via phone a few times. Just come in and work hard. That's all. He kept it real cool and calm. So right. that's, that's how I can go about the situation. Yeah. Now, Ohio State obviously uh, has done very well with basketball, but it's a football mecca, fresh off a national championship. Did you go to a lot of those games in college? Um, I went to a little bit. They're they're very um, it's real loud. You you, you kind of get sick after the game because there's so many people in there just yelling their ears off, yeah, and their mouths off. So it's 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 crazy down there for football. They're really crazy about it. Um, I'm not a football guy, so I'm not really that interested. But right. when they won the national championship, I became a fan. So that was a, that was a big moment. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so right now I'm gonna put you in the timeout penalty box. I'm gonna ask you some questions. You just answer as quick as possible. All right. Your favorite number besides your jersey number. Um, Say three. Three? Yeah. Favorite color? Black. Favorite cartoon of all time? Um, Ed Ed Nitty. What is it? Ed Ed Nitty. Ed, but you like the Roadrunner too, right? Yeah, I know. What, I don't know the name of that though. That's good. That's yeah. Looney Tunes, I guess. Yeah. Um, if you could only listen to one artist the rest of your life, only one, who would that be? J. Cole. J. Cole? Mm -hmm. All right. And what's your favorite holiday? Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. What are you going to be this year? I don't know. I might be um, Flo from Progressive. Wow. Yeah. I like that. I like That's that good. One. Yeah. All right. I'm Dave Osco. This has been a timeout. We're here with D'Angelo Russell. You can follow him at? On what? Instagram. Oh, D-Loading. D-L-O-A-D-I-N-G. What about Twitter? The same thing. All right. And I'm Dave O'Philly. We'll see you next time. Thanks.